Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in my Facebook group, I do little things where I will post something and ask you guys to share. This time I said, share your weirdest Bolo. And boy, oh boy, did you guys like represent. Um, I think I'm gonna get three videos out of this one. So stay tuned for part one, two, and three. Um, so what I did is I post a post in my Facebook group that says, please share a screenshot of your weirdest bolo. Tell me where you got it, what you paid for it, and what it sold for. So what's great about this is somebody in the group actually sold this item so we know it was a good sale. And the cool thing is some of these are gonna be big money, some of them are gonna be bread and butter. Most of them are big money, you guys. And there's some weird stuff in here. So we are just gonna dig right in, get started. I'm gonna share with you guys these bolo items. If you're not in my Facebook group, it is based on bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can buy low and sell high, but we also talk about other reseller related items. And we just hit 48,000 members of the group. So come on over and join, the link is down below. And we are gonna get started with the first bolo. So I've got my computer here. I'm basically going to read you off what the bolo is and what they wrote. And I will say there's a little more dialogue for some of these because, well, they're weird. And then I'm going to pop up the screenshot showing you guys the actual item that sold. All right, let's get started. Okay, so it says, My daughter and I were yard sailing near the end of the day, and this sparkly silver guy was hiding up under a table. I thought it'd be go a good video segment for my channel to see if I could list and get him sold in 40 minutes on the drive home. 40 minutes. Let's see if she did it. Um, I paid $3, listed him on Marketplace, and sold for $30 before we pulled in the driveway. I think the fast sale was clinched by naming him Hollywood in the ad. <laughs> okay, you guys. Do you think she could have sold it for more? Here it is. Um, it is... It looks like some sort of like iguana or something. She said it's a heavy plastic resin. Um, so yeah, she paid three, flipped it for 30. This comes from Bolo Buddies member. She is a member of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. So if you're a member of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel and you share something, you will get a shout out. Otherwise, you will remain anonymous and I'll share the Bolo. So let's uh, see the picture here. And her YouTube channel is Got Junk in Our Trunk. And she used to do estate sales, so she has a lot of knowledge. So definitely go check out her channel. All right, let's look at the next one here. New old stock 70s Levi's plaid pants. Paid $3 at a local thrift store. And they said it looks like it's straight out of Three's Company. And they sold for $100, you guys. And it says Big E. So if it would have been me, I would have auctioned these because um, some of those big E can go for crazy money. All right, the next one. Bought it in a state sale for a dollar each and sold for $49.99. And it looks like they are vintage goody and unbranded bristle hair brush lot. So you guys, I've talked to you in my videos about buying the brand goody. Um, definitely a bolo if you can find vintage goodie. I actually have a video on hair accessories. All right. Um, let's see. Well, there's no picture on that one. So we're going to skip that one. Found for free in the woods. <laughs> Took best offer to get it out of the way. You guys, it sold for $17, but it's a twisted wood piece. Reptile snake habitat walking stick top cane, 34 by six. So that was their key wor words, but they found it in the woods. I mean, you're going into the woods and making money off of something you found laying on the ground. How awesome is that? Definitely weird. Okay. She said it took about six months to sell. Okay, you guys, here's mine. So I got a huge lot of dollhouse um, items at an estate sale. It was in the basement, just a full box. I didn't want the dollhouse. I just wanted the furniture. So my cost of goods for this was probably less than a dollar. It was a huge lot. Um, 
I couldn't find anything like this, you guys. It's a miniature realistic dog. I believe it to be handmade and one of a kind. It had glass eyes and this guy sold for $56. So um, it did take a little while to sell because I priced it high and I waited on the right buyer, which I will do for unique and hard to find items. Okay, hi, I just sold this Spock oven mitt from Think Geek from 2015 for $50 on Poshmark. I found it in the Goodwill bins and probably paid about 50 cents for it. Sold in about two weeks for my full asking price. Could not believe it. That is awesome. You guys, I mean, sometimes it pays off to pick up weird things, right? I guess Christmas is over and we're moving on to Valentine's Day. Got this vintage empty can candy box at the bins for 50 cents and sold it today for $44.99 plus shipping. So you guys, the old candy boxes can definitely be a bolo um, for Valentine's Day, even throughout the year. So if you see those, don't pass them by. The ugliest doll I have ever laid eyes on, I paid $5 at the Goodwill, sold on eBay auction for $202.50, you guys. It looks like it's um, McCashlin, M-C-A-S-L-A-N, Doll Company, 1995, Vinyl Doll. Yeah, I think she's like ugly cute. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I think it's so, I think it's cute. Okay, Vintage 1965, Ideal, Honeymoon doll Dick Tracy comics bought at the Goodwill for $9.99 and sold on eBay for $75 plus shipping. I think she's kind of cute too in a weird way. <laughs> All right. Um, Waylon CR12 responder cadet magnetic car light bought on shop Goodwill for $20, including shipping and sold for 128 plus shipping on eBay. I am not sure. Looks like maybe it goes on the top of a car. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, she said it's for a service vehicle, like a tow truck or a tire repair truck. Awesome. Okay. Bought at the Goodwill for $3.99, listed for $199.99, and took a best offer of $150. You guys, this says Invader Zim uh girl dog plush backpack nickelodeon sorry it's really tiny print on my computer and i'm even like way zoomed in so i've never seen such a thing but it's kind of cute and definitely weird um speaking of check out my necklace you guys i got this little gem out of a i was going through a mystery box of jewelry um part of that 344 pounds of jewelry that i purchased like a year and a half ago. Um, still going through it, but I got in the mood and I unboxed a bunch of it over on my reseller testing Bolo products. And I think I'm going to start doing the unboxings on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. So make sure you're subscribed to both. They are linked down below and so is my Facebook group. But do you think it's weird or do you think it's awesome? It's an elephant. It's just a little, just a little costume jewelry necklace, but I think it's super cute. Okay. Christmas Hallmark Talking Snowman, Jolly in the John, Jolly in the John, Bath Motion Activated, bought at the Goodwill for $2.99 and sold it on eBay for $67.50. Huh, I have no idea what it does, but Jolly in the John? Okay, let's see. Looking back as far as eBay will let me, it's interesting to see how much I've made on free items. The computer case and cassette player were both free. I paid 25 for the cash register and don't remember why I refunded the buyer some money, but some people don't know what they have. And I imagine some people really don't care. So this isn't really weird as in the items are weird, but just they think it's weird that they can get these items for free and sell them for so much money. So it looks like um, the computer case sold for $145.50 the cash register sold for 300 and the cassette player sold for 125 so those are definitely some big money bolos all right so she said she sold a face mask i only paid mm, this is from another country so i'm not sure which country this symbol is but it says paid 20 and sold for 150 silly retail of 230. um i found a baseball bat at a thrift store paid $3 and sold it on auction for $636. Um, 
baseball bats really aren't weird, but paying three and selling it for 636, that's a little weird. Um, it's a 2017 Damarni CF Zen. Uh, sounds fancy, must be, I don't know, but I don't look at bats. I know I should because some of them go for crazy money like this one. Somebody put, what makes the bat so special? And he said, when I found it, I had no idea. After I did my research, this company is basically the Lamborghini of baseball bats. What makes this one special is it's two-piece composite. This is not alum an aluminum bat. I did pretty good. Um, I have a hard time saying that word. Um, another thing that makes it so special is the barrel size is two and five eighths, which gives it more landing area. And there's a whole lot more information if you guys want to go over to my Facebook group and check that out. But it retails brand new for about $1,300. So, paid $12 each, sold in four hours, and they got them at a thrift store. So again, not really a weird item, but um, sold really quick. I'm gonna include it. Um, they're Hoka's, H-O-K-A -A shoes, and it looks like 12 each and sold in four hours. And you guys, these are pre-owned shoes. One sold for $152.50 and one sold for $154.50. $154 okay all right now this one's a little bit long this year's new bread and butter bolo for me is bib overalls purchase them whenever i see them in decent shape as you can see brand new or see brand does not seem to matter paid two to four dollars they price them like jeans at my thrifts each sold within a couple of weeks of listing the squeeze jeans sold on best offer for 32 on ebay and the old navy sold for 40 on posh and the Canyon River Blues sold for full asking price of $34 on Posh. Not pictured as a pair of Carhartt men's duck bib overalls on eBay that sold for $40 and listed for $44.99. I don't do a lot of clothes, but these are on my easy breezy bolo list. So here's a picture of three of those. So again, quick flips, something you wouldn't expect, kind of weird um, vintage bibs. My wife bought a very crusty dresser at a yard sale for $5. Inside one of the drawers, under the liner paper, were some interesting items. <laughs> you guys are really wanting to see, right? Um, including these independent order of Odd Fellows membership cards. Took about three months to sell on Mercari. Sold for $17 plus shipping. Sorry, I hyped that up a little. Sounded fun, right? Um... Let's see, we've got, I paid 40 for a large Ikea bag full at an estate sale, found in the back of the underwear drawer. So they cost me like a dollar. They were two sets and both sold in a couple weeks apart to the same person on eBay. Paid full price, you guys. They are dental dentures, partial fall, false teeth, scrap metal, oddity, upper, lower set. I think oddity is a good word. Um, I don't know if there's any rules against selling dentures on um, eBay or not. Definitely double check that. Um, I know a lot of people sell them, but that doesn't mean it's okay. So I don't know. Just double check on that one just because it's something that goes in someone's mouth. I mean, you can sanitize them, right? Okay. Um, let's see. Glad I didn't toss. Couple bucks into these came with a vacuum I bought for personal use. So it says they sold for 22 plus shipping. It says Eris Home Solutions Clean Sweep Vacuum Cleaner Bag Chips Lemon Scent. So it must be like something you put in the bag to make it smell good. I don't know. Vintage children, German children's book from the 1920s. It translates to the story of or the root children. It's essentially a story of the changing season. Seasons. The children are all named after flowers, live underground among the roots during winter, and emerge when spring comes. I found this one at a state sale. I believe I paid a dollar or less and sold on Etsy for $80 plus shipping. And it's a book, you guys. So check it out. Some of them old books, they can definitely go for money. All right, where are we at on time? 15 minutes. Okay. Here is my weird and spooky bolo. Got it at a local thrift store for $8. They wanted it out. Sold for $110 plus shipping. 
Um, so funny, like the estate sale wanted it gone because it was creeping them out, it sounds like, and he got it for eight bucks. And if you guys don't know, Vintage Halloween is a major bolo. It looks like it is a spooky cat, very rare, yellow eyes, looks real, handmade hair, or wait, hair is all bird feathers. That is definitely weird. All right, you guys. Let's do one more here and then I'm gonna start another video up and it'll be part two, so stay tuned for that. Paid $2 at the Goodwill, sold for 40 on Facebook Marketplace. You guys, that's weird, but it's kind of cute. Uh, would you wear the cactus purse? Let me know in the comments if you would wear a cactus purse. All right, you guys, so what I need you to do is I need you to go down to the description, look for my Facebook group, join and go check out the featured announcement sections because there should be two or three different posts for you guys to share your bolos to be featured in a video. This is a super fun way to help others learn. And if you want the shout out for like your YouTube channel or your eBay store, during the video, you can join memberships at level two. This is just something um, that's a bonus for my members. I do a featured members video that looks like this um, once a month and I basically feature bolos from all of my members. It's super fun, super great way to learn. They are bolo finders, so go check out these videos. Subscribe to their channels. They are reseller content, and they have awesome eBay stores, and all of those are linked in the description of the video. All right, you guys, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Leave me a hat emoji in the comments of the video if you made it this far. Thanks for watching.